All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Jujutsu, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kaisen season, season one, episode 24. 24. The finale. Right, the finale of season one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so we're probably going to wrap up the uh, the final little bits of this uh, little scrap of sorts that Indeed. they've gotten themselves into. But Fushiguro's is essentially over. He got the finger. Yeah, yeah. Now let's just hope that no one comes over to double Nabbit. tap him while he's unconscious. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. that, that, that'd be kind of so, bad. Yuji and Nobara, I hope you guys get a, mm -hmm. you know, good, you know, well, screen time to fight, you know, yep. stuff like that. If not, that's okay. But, um, yeah, that could mean that Yuji eats one more finger before this is, uh, it's true. this is over as a season. Yep. Which feels like a very proper kind of bookend way to end this because the very first episode started with him eating a finger. Eating a finger. Yeah. So, Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think Sukuna is going to do anything here? I don't think so. I feel like so? I feel he was like this is a little bit in the previous episode. With he him was kind of being like, hmm. like I don't know. Like I feel like this isn't important enough for him to really do anything uh, right now. Sure. Like like he or at least he has the one card that he can use at some point. He's definitely not going to use that, right? Oh, like oh. like or I, I don't think he would use that. Really? I think he'd I think he'd save that for like a more important time. Well, who's to say like he only can use it once? You know. Uh, like okay, he doesn't even remember going going under the assumption that Sukuna can only do it the one time and not like do it multiple times, like or break up the minute or however it worked. Mm -hmm. Um, then I don't think he'll do it. But if okay. he does do something cool, that would be a great way to throw an extra twist onto this mission. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, okay. Then maybe this is just going to be the the minor kind of resolution to things there with a little bit of a a setup for whatever is coming next. But, um, yeah, yeah, okay, then y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. <laughs> oh, shit, it's fast. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Didn't need to tell them twice. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. shit. Then I'm gonna. <laughs> no. Yeah. Shoot nails back at the enemy. I'm gonna go fast. In <gasps> Holy shit! Wow! 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 All right. Jeez. Nicely done. Nicely done indeed. We gonna talk about that? That was uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Shit! Oh! Ugh. Oh! Ah! Oh, she's pissed. Okay, maybe they do need Sukuna here. Mm. Oh, shit! Oh! Well! あたれば勝ちの術式強いの思えろ。でも残念。私との相性最悪だよ。すれ違う。おお。おお。おおシェット。我慢比べしよっか。痛いのは嫌だろ。ならさ、気ながら術式かけよう。術師の術式。No oh. 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 you bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. おとうとの方にも聞いたのは大変だ。あ、ちょっと大勢死ぬんだ。I'll <laughs> Oh! Falcom Punch! <laughs> oh, another one! Let's combo wombo this yeah. shit! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, nice! Alright. Yeah! Wow, okay. Damn. Okay. He'll yeah, just then. fight through it. Right. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. oh hell yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Okay, good limitation. Oh, hell yeah, she does. Sure about that? Alright. Oh. He's like, please. Oh, he oh. did it immediately. All right. Oh. Okay. okay. Wow. Oh, that that was good. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Mm -hmm. All it took was just. Oh. All right. He's getting his uh his wing ability out then. Yep. Yep. With the music. Oh my god. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh shit! This is so fucking awesome! It's a black flash, baby! Now, did they both black flash in unison? I, I might have. Wait. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. What? 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 <laughs> oh, my God. That was so cool. <laughs> Wow. Wait. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, the arm. And we were even shown the arm earlier. <laughs> Done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 the zone. Oh. oh, God. And then the finisher. Jeez. Oh. Whoa. Wait, the game of life? Really? Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're kidding. that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.俺は毎日一度。いや。あれを一度っていうのは釣るか。いや。三人だ。人間だとしてあのレベルの長期間拘束する術はない。わかってんでしょ。いや、そうだね。アンフォーチュネット。アンフォーチュネット。いや。そう
Oh my god! I knew it! I knew it, Sukuna! I knew it! Sukuna! You little shit! <laughs> <laughs> wow. You little shit, Sukuna! Uh -huh. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, what is a big idea? <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Ah, sushi. <笑>あ、寿司。新幹線すごかったでしょ。うるさい。特急相当かっこ撃破。今年の1年は豊作だね。僕の指導者としての腕がいいのかな。うん。うん。Sure. Oh. Would the alcohol ever actually go through your system now? He's playing right now. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Damn. Okay. That was, that was a lot of money. Yeah. I guess it's yen, so, you know. Yeah. それ不死黒に言うなよ。自分が助けた人間が将来人を殺したらどうする言うなよ。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オッケー。オ
But the way they did that is a way to just basically say, yeah, we know that this is going to end with, you know, our our main cast basically being awesome and defeating the enemy in spectacular fashion, yeah. right? Or, or them just getting away sure, from right. a, an eventual loss. Yeah, but this was... Um, this delivered so far above and beyond expectations. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I, like, th <laughs> weirdly enough, yeah, my expectations were so low. Uh -huh. And this was such a good episode. Yeah. That I can't, I, I can't even right now. Like, like the, you know, Yuji and Toto fighting together, you know, that's going to be amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, cause of course it will, mm -hmm. you know? But with like the 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 younger of the two brothers, that was more of like the blob, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in the previous episode, we saw Yuji chasing it around, and it yeah. was comical, right? I didn't expect there to be much of like, oh yeah, what what's going to happen here? What right. techniques are they going to use on you know on on Yuji and Nobra? Right. But the techniques that they used, okay, cool, right? Mm -hmm. Like they actually seemed fairly terrifying. Of like, all right, yeah, we, we've got we will you now. Eventually, know. beat you. Right. You have a you have a DPS status effect on you that you can't get rid of. Yep. Okay. Cool. How Except do you handle that? Plot twist. Sukuna gives him innate poison resistance, so right. he is decaying. Right. right. But it's, it's something that's still not going to debilitate his body's functionality beyond just the pain. Mm -hmm. And what is pain to an anime protagonist? Exactly. Then, also, Nobara being like, oh, 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 you're, you're about to get hard, hard countered, bitches. <laughs> right. I, you linked us mm -hmm. through the power of a curse technique? Oh, that's... That's the dumbest shit you could have done did right not here. Do, you, you definitely didn't know that we were going to be here. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because like, nobody was... Ding! Oh, <laughs> my God. When she started nailing Metal herself as fuck. Here, that like, was so freaking awesome. Like, oh. And that wasn't even, like, the good shit from the episode, right? Like, that like that, that was... Just, that was that was, that was, badass, that was the appetizer to everything that, you know, would happen after. Like, right, right. Like, with with all of the focus that that Yuji and Fushiguro have gotten recently, yeah. not just character wise, but also with like, hey, their powers are really dope. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we got this moment for Nobara to be her badass awesome self right. and reveal a new technique as and well. reveal a new technique and things like that. Mm -hmm. Because it did kind of feel like it was getting into that thing of like, I'm here oh, wait, too. She'd shown hairpin before, actually. Had she shown hairpin? I think she did. Oh yeah, yeah. No, she probably had. That was the detonations in the forest. Remember. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like, it, it's something where where Nobara hasn't gotten as much chance to be truly badass and stuff over the course of the season compared to the other two. True. So yeah. having this as a way to balance it off, awesome. It and felt the, like a really rounded way to end the finale. Yeah. yeah, and it and it didn't feel like it was forced in, right? Like of like, ah, well, we need to show Nobara being awesome. So well, we're, no, it's just they're, they're just two characters having a no, badass no, fight. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah, exactly. And and the and the ways in which her ability and ended up being ridiculously helpful here are just ways that the ability would be super helpful. Like, right, yeah. like it's, yeah, you know, you you have some kind of crazy range ability. Cool, yeah. Um, no, you're, you're done, you're, you're, you're dead, you know. I have, I have remote um, stuff that's connected to your body. Now, right. I, I really like that this was a, a setup for them to both do a, a Black Flash, though, mm -hmm. because that's still the kind of thing that goes beyond their initial abilities. This has nothing specifically to do with an individual. Mm -hmm. It's just the full utilization of the techniques of the you know, cursed energy. So that that massive critical hit being both in time with the music and with the flashes of the two yep. of them and then the, no but a the, dabbing afterwards. Yeah, that like, was fucking awesome. Yeah. That's just that's just some good shonen shit right there. Uh -huh. oh, felt so good. Yep. But I, I, I really liked that the fight was something that I really was engaged mm -hmm. in whether or not this was going to be a um an emotional loss for the brothers or if this was going to be a hard uh kind of uh accepting accepted loss by the um by the, by main, the, characters. By the, by the main characters here mm. because I could totally have seen them overcoming basically their their techniques and then putting them into a game of chicken where they then basically realize, well, shit, we're going to have to flee here. Mm -hmm. I'm not willing to let my brother suffer in this way. Yeah. But no, the way that Yuji and... Uh, uh, she was calling her no Kugasaki the whole thing, so it's oh, right. it yeah. screwing me up in my head, but nobody, mm -hmm. yeah. Completely, like, hunted down and yep. executed the guy, right. basically. Was so badass and cold and mm -hmm. just ruthless yep that it just kind of ha it just kind of hit you with that moment of like well shit wait a minute right like like, 
That, yeah, like, this there was, was murder. Oh yeah, like, yeah, like, like full on, full on double tap. Like, uh -huh. like the oh the yeah, the fight was over. Right, the fight was over. He's trying to get away, and it's nope, you're not getting away. Right, and and there was the whole thing of like, yeah, he's gonna you know swear vengeance and things like yeah, that, yeah, which makes so sense because so his that brother's happen. dead. Right, yeah. you know, yeah. But then oh, voodoo, boom, your arms left behind. Right, and it's something that we had goofed. seen previously in the season. Right? right, you know where oh, arm gets left behind. Well, I can do something <laughs> yeah, with no. this. Right. <laughs> But then on top of that, no, 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 it's not just that. Yuji also is speeding, speed running, keeping up with the with truck, the car, basically. Yeah. And then when he falls off, it's okay. Now I'm charging up my attack. You're in the air. You can't dodge. Nope. Okay. And done. Yeah. yeah. Like, so every single thing done in this episode was a build up on something that had been shown previously. Mm. That's why I was kind of weirded up by the idea that this could even look as forced, basically, if, as a moment for Nobara, because the idea of her being the one that beats the cursed technique linked kind of style uh -huh. thing just felt so rule of cool uh -huh. that it was like, well, of course, this is oh. her hard counter moment. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, totally. I, the, um, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not that, um, uh, it's not, yeah. Well, I, 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 I get what it, you're saying. Yeah. I was just, I just felt it was weird that it even needed to be brought up. Of mm, like, gotcha. why, why would you even bring it up? It's, it's no, it's definitely not forced. This was, this was just our characters were gonna have their moment in the mm -hmm. finale, and the fact that nobody is there, she gets to have this moment yep. in the finale because she actually like kept up with. Yuji the whole way through except for literally the part <laughs> the where she couldn't run away which is hilarious because you you don't get at all the vibe in this story that mm -hmm. Yuji and Nobara have any kind of forced romance or anything like yep. that and so the point where he like picks her up and like runs with her uh-huh she kind of like afterwards is like, no, thank you. I appreciate that. He's right, like, right. Yeah, okay, whatever. And then right. just like, it's basically like you had to pick up your sister, right? And yeah. you had to like run with her. And she's just like, yeah, yeah, get, get, right. Okay, it, get, it's the whole get, thing you know. of like, okay, well, you know, you, yes, you were very fast and that was helpful. So like, you thank know, you. it was, yeah. it was tactical and you know, whatever, but uh, uh. you know, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. God, do you shower like enough? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right, like I, I would not have been surprised if that had been like a thing that had lasted longer and just Nobara just shooting nails out behind them. But Yuji's just that fast that it's no, we're outside of their range now. Yeah, we're we're good. Okay, cool. And yeah. then they catch up because they right. stop moving, mm -hmm. which was kind right. of a naive moment on Yuji's part. And then he'd be like, "Oh, well, one, if you stop moving, they're gonna catch up with you if they're chasing you. But two, if you stop moving, they could end up going towards Fushiguro. Exactly. And yeah. Get the finger. So right. I, I, <laughs> that was probably his moment of, of dumb in in the entire episode, basically. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's like okay, running way faster than them. Now let's circle back around and, yeah, and, and look for get, Fushiguro. Go get Fushiguro. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, really cool fight. Yep. Um, just blood like, and explosions and just it's, chaos. It takes a. <sighs> The fact that I keep getting surprised in this show mm -hmm. by the visuals when it already has set up this crazy high bar for mm -hmm. the visuals. Yeah. Like I I can't express enough how much how, how much joy I get out of just seeing all the this shit happen. Yeah. Because yeah, I would think that it wouldn't be as impressive by now, right? Of like, <laughs> oh yes, we've seen some pretty ridiculous stuff be animated in this show, yeah. right? It's just, you know, par for the course at this point. No. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. I, I I I loved all the little extra bits of animation. Yeah, the the, the snap, Nobara's hair just going oh, yeah. off. Yuji just yeah being set up for the uh, the Falcon Punch from behind. Mm -hmm. Simultaneous um, black flash. Yeah, the the way where they hit each other's backs and then change. Oh yeah, positions that was there. That was so that cool. That was so like, cool. Any time that happens in a story, especially if it's something where I can visually see it, you know, uh -huh. and like feel the weight of like their bodies, like Phew. okay, like. That is just that is just one of the coolest things in my mind. Yeah, where where was that? Was that right right here? Yeah, because it was. It, no, no, it, no, that's or, after he moves. Right, it was after it was after he dispels the ability, right, and then they switch, and she goes so right after here. Blob. Oh wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, she switches there, so then right, here, yeah. He's like, the pain is nothing. Right, and then, boom, they swap. <laughs> oh. Uh. That's that's so good. I love that we got to have the time dilation kind of exposition bit of him mm -hmm. thinking. Yeah. Because while the brother is like, okay, 
shit, I, I have to I have to watch out for for, for my brother here. Mm -hmm. He's basically thinking like, no, 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 no. Well, we can take this. We can take this. Yeah. I got this. I got this. No, I'm not doing I'm not taking out the technique. Mm -hmm. And I love little moments in storytelling like this where they efficiently communicate that the thing that they exposited about us is actually legitimate because sometimes in stories they'll shortcut through this mm. but don't take that little bit of extra time to craft something that communicates on a like a visual level that this is the feeling that they're going through is I really care about my brother. Why? Mm. Because I say I care about my brother. Sure. But I'm not going to show the character actually caring about the brother. Right. But in this, they had the perfect like few second mm -hmm. little bit here just to just to perfectly encapsulate that in that the thing he had planned to do, he immediately threw it yep. out once he heard his brother cry out in pain. Right. And 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 having exposition happen to then like subvert the exposition is can be kind of a risky a risky thing to do and and it can especially take a lot of time if you need to then explain why the exposition is getting subverted right that's why this was brilliant this was, it was so efficient right. that you don't need yep. to explain you don't need, you don't need to explain it it's just yep. he says brother and then all of a sudden the technique goes away right yep. we know we go exactly yep. what happened right yep. we don't we don't need to be told it at all yep. we saw it right yeah. yeah i think that was probably one of the smartest things that they've done in this season mm. actually for showcasing a way to empathize with the villains yeah in a really quick way that actually required the exposition or at least a good portion of the exposition mm. in the beginning of the episode right otherwise we go like oh they're they're brothers sure but it's like no 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 this is a weird fucked up kind of womb situation with right born they are humans they and are stuff. all each other that they, they, they are all each other has yeah 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 exactly uh -huh. there's there's nothing like them out there in the world right that even compares so this is a mm -hmm. very unique situation and then yep. we are one i live for you you live for me i live for mm -hmm. you, know, you that you live for each other and then they're right cool um perfect but, and yeah and then just Nobara's just facial expressions as Word. she's like, so I'm a cold-blooded killer. Yeah. And I, I really like that that carried over into the forest talk. Mm. Like, what, yeah. what did you really like about the forest talk? Because I, I have so many little things I, I could, I could like, kind of gush about it. The forest talk, I feel like, is an example of something that would be very easily... Um easily missed by stories when they're like okay we hit the we hit the highs of like the really good action mm -hmm. but but it's these kinds of moments that make the really good action mean things right mm -hmm. because okay yeah we got the we got the characterization for the antagonists right of, yeah. of them caring about each other right before they're defeated cool right but let's not forget that oh yeah our main characters are also people and while it was super badass and we could be cheering for them as they're doing this thing sure they are also um uh, this can of whoop ass that they're busting open is just crazy violence where they're obliterating. Well, also people. That, also that these aren't uh, curses, right? These are these yeah. are beings that use curse techniques, basically. Right. They bleed. They have bodies. You know, yeah, they, they die. They yeah, they didn't disintegrate into mm -hmm. nothingness, basically, when when they were killed. So yep. that reveal kind of bringing things back all the way to you know the whole thing with Yoshino. You know, that's a cool mm -hmm. little reminder for um, our boy Yuji that this is going to be a lot harder than he would like in order to maintain his, you know, very, 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 like, simple idealistic desire of just I'm going to save as many people as possible. Mm -hmm. Because if his whole thing with being the vessel for Sukuna is that he's going to, hopefully, if they go with this whole plan thing, eat as many of the fingers as possible. Mm -hmm. And then die. And then die. And then die. Yep. So the point is, make your life before you die worth living, which right. is what everyone tries to do mm -hmm. in some level. Yep. Regardless of how consciously they think about it, because most people, I don't think, have a daily conscious thought about death, you know? Right, like, yeah. They're, they're not really thinking about that. But the idea that Yuji's like, well, I, I want to then save as many people. And it's like, ooh, yeah, but the occupation you chose is mm -hmm. actually going to have you doing more, I would say, um, extermination work. Like right. you're you're not going to be exterminating people necessarily. Or at the very least, hopefully when you're exterminating things, that is then, you know, it's going to save more people. Right. But it's still mm -hmm. it still gets into some wonky territory. Right. And for someone who's in high school, mm -hmm. that especially would be um tough yeah. to say the least and again adding things with the previous stuff is that 
well, because he ate Sukuna's finger, curses in general have started to get excited. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's just meaning that the fingers themselves are awakening wherever they're at. Right. So, which is oh, leading you're to then that having an effect on curse around it. Yep. And even if you defeat all of the curses or other things or whatever that are then going to hurt people as a result of you eating the Sukuna fingers. Yep. How much how much violence are you basically needing to you know enact in order to maintain basically the status quo or or in order to uh make good on the fact that you wanted to save your three friends back in the first episode mm -hmm. you know like th yeah <sighs> yeah he's got a tough road ahead and i liked the fact that this conversation nobra is kind of leading it because mm -hmm. he doesn't really have much to say right he's processing he's processing yeah. but the stuff that she's talking about is basically that hey i get it but you're doing like way worse than i am like i've kind of simplified this a lot in my head mm -hmm. like i only have so many seats on my plane basically or yep. on my train or on my life basically or whatever yeah and yeah there's gonna be people like you who will just grab their own chair and come bring sit it over next to yeah. me that, that's that's great but i can't worry myself with thinking that complexly about right. like the value of the existence of something that i need to destroy in mm -hmm. order to protect you know a hundred people in the future or right. a thousand people whatever you that know. number is you know I, I can't think like that. And it's really, really impressive that the show is basically like, oh, this is coming from Nobara. Mm -hmm. Not from the main character where he's keeping it all in his head. This is a conversation right. that's happening. And she's kind of monologuing at him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, like, he he kind of... It, it's, a, it's a complicated issue to bring up. And mm. he doesn't necessarily have anything to add directly because he's the one asking the question. Yeah. Right. So as she gives her, you know, very long answer, mm -hmm. it's I don't know. It's something where I, I love that as cold as Nobara was being in the fight mm -hmm. and as matter of factly as she is being with Yuji, mm -hmm. it still feels very tender. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think she's trying to make a little bit light of the situation for the sake mm -hmm. of bringing him out of this heavy place. Yeah. But I also think that she's looking at this from, well... A little bit of a perspective of like, well, this was also kind of an impossible situation. Like, right. I, we I, couldn't incarcerate people like that. Like, yeah, you know, they, they couldn't I have, be contained. I have no capacity to do anything other than, you know, end them. Right. Short of dying myself, you know. Yeah. So like, either we either do nothing and let them kill people, or right. or we do something and make it so that they can't kill people anymore. Yeah. We only really have one option when it comes to that. Yeah, but the idea that we didn't really get an answer from her as to whether or not she had kind of had lots of experience with killing, mm. you know, people who were affected by curses or themselves use curse techniques. So mm -hmm. it's a it's an interesting thing that will have to be brought up later. But I loved how that tied into the title of the episodes and that, well, then we're accomplices. Yep. And it felt like that was kind of a bit of the thing that carried over into a bunch of the other characters and that there's a bunch of secrets going around mm. and characters are needing to be accomplices with each other and figuring things out. But yeah, the, the Sukuna twist though. That was, that was great. I actually like, thought he was going to do something this episode just by the meta level of that. It's the last episode. Sukuna hasn't done anything in a long mm -hmm. time, but I thought he was going to do something to try and save Yuji, you know? Oh, sure. Like, yeah. Like, or at the very least, or at the very least, do something with regards to the finger right and <laughs> i did not think it would go this way though yeah like because because when i was thinking about it, i was like well i mean he has his thing of like make yuji do whatever he wants for a minute or whatever as long as it doesn't you mm -hmm. know kill people and all that stuff but i was like but there's no way he would just use that to like eat the finger because like yuji will probably end up eating the finger anyways but then it's just no 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 just i can you've you've oh. seen me able to make mouths to talk to you and stuff yeah just making the palm of your hand boom it was that easy. Yep, just yoink. Holy shit. Like, like that is so funny, Uh huh. and yet it is so terrifying. Right, because, like, Sukuna is so powerful that you wouldn't expect him to need to use an underhanded trick. An tactic, underhanded trick! Right? Yeah. Like, like, he literally did, like, a sleight of hand, like, pick your yeah. pocket kind of a thing. Like, like, and I'm so okay with that. Like, I'm so okay because, with that! Because that, that to me, is, is like, the the contrast of that with... 
I am in my own domain, mm. and you know, you dare touch yes. me, I destroy the you. You know, king of demons. And right, right, exactly. And all that. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yoink this finger. <laughs> you know, like when you were about to grab it. Like, <laughs> I yes. just love the way they're like. Oh. Oh, did that happen? Like, oh shit! <laughs> like, that feels like that feels like a proper like like D and D party or something like that, where it's like, because you know, ah, uh, yes, we're serious. We just mm. beat three you special have grade tattoos curses. Tattoos on you, right? Yeah, and, cursed tattoos, all this stuff, right? And we then just, they act up right there, and right? <laughs> we did these, you know, synchronized black flash, all that stuff. It was awesome. And I'm we, still pretty strong right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we're still pretty strong right now. But then it's just the the silly thing of, oh yeah, we didn't think about that. Yeah. Uh, so mm. I'm in the okay. to roll. A uh, dexterity saving throw. Right. What? Why? Why? No a, reason. A dex save? So, yeah. someone throwing something at me? Are we about to get AoE blasted? Right, Did right. Did we not kill them? And then, no, it, you know, So, you feel a tickling sensation on the palm of your hand. And Fushiguro and finger, didn't hand you anything. And the finger is gone. Right. Uh, uh, Fushiguro, make a perception check. Yeah. Okay. You hear a belt from 30. the palm. Uh, you know. Damn it, Fushiguro always sees it. Well, you saw for a brief bit a tongue, a bit of teeth, and lips, and the, <laughs> right. uh, the finger was eaten by them. Yep. And the tattoos on Fushiguro, uh, on Yuji, lit up for a second. For a it's second. Like, it's like, God uh -huh. damn it, Tsukuna! Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> like, Tsukuna is, is one of those characters that I, I, I absolutely love him, right? right I right. know there are probably going to be those points where I hate him because of what he does in the story or something or, like that. Or because he's just, like, he's just bad guy. You know? Yeah, yeah, he is bad guy, right? Yeah, you yeah. know? But... But I love him. I yeah. love him so much. He's such a little shit. Yeah, he's like, uh. and and finding that balance between epic and terrifying, and, right. and us needing to also be terrified yeah, yeah. of him. Yeah, with good point. Also being able to laugh at him, like, mm -hmm. and be like, eh, "That was a good one." Yeah, that's a yeah. that's a fine balance, and it, and the show handles that very well. It is done rather well. Yeah. Okay, so they then be like, "Well, that happened. Let's mm -hmm. go rendezvous." You know, back with Nita. Um, there's this little conversation. That um, yeah. Gojo. Uh, Gojo has with the instructor for the Kyoto High uh, mm -hmm. crew. Let me, and, let me see what her name was here. Um, uh, shoot, we might not have got her name. Okay, here, but but basically, but, yeah. So she's trying to set up some kind of like drinking mm -hmm. hangout, but the context of it is actually more to the idea of oh, we need to be a little bit careful about who mm -hmm. could be listening right and apparently he might have just sent her it looked like 10 million yen no 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 you're getting you're getting things mixed up okay you're getting things mixed up that's may the other character here who he then sends um ten thousand oh, that's right yen to or wait no, no that's actually, 10 million oh that is 10 million now oh. granted all the transfers there were large sums so maybe that's not as big of a deal but like now, this one specifically said Gojo looks Sethra. like Gojo, and none of the other ones do, though. Right. So so I think this is talking about just the idea of payment for, you know, doing, like, big jobs and things right. like that. But, like, what kind of a job is it that Gojo specifically is going to pay someone rather than, like, Jujutsu Sorcerer, yeah. like, organizations, right? Like Now, I'll just say, the thing that's crazy here is that if you look at the printout card here uh -huh. may's totals go into the 250 million yen territory uh-huh so she's not hurting she's oh not no no hurting no for money. no no she's, definitely not yeah she's fine so gojo probably has way more than that uh sure yeah way more than that right but Even it's like he's the strongest sorcerer you know but like i guess that combined with the idea of him saying like top secret mission which granted he says all the time right but if he actually is doing some top secret mission and we know that he hates Gakuganji and things like that, mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if there was something where he was basically using some of his own personal funds and mm -hmm. things to organize Jujutsu Sorcerers for something in particular that he knows would never get sort of the red stamp of approval from like the higher ups. Uh -huh. You know, and if that's the case, then that makes me very curious, especially considering that we've got a movie coming. And, mm. and it seemed like that would be the kind of thing where it would focus on maybe like Halloween and like well, the stuff that the okay. bad guys well, do is making their moves. Let's, let's make less assumptions about the movie because well, the movie okay. is called Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, which oh. sounds completely more like a spin off kind of thing. Not gotcha. Like a, yeah, or a prequel or something. Or a prequel of some yeah. kind. Not, okay. not, not like something with regards to that. Gotcha. Um, and this is, show is definitely getting a, a second season. There's, there's no way they Yeah, it's for just sure. probably going to be a while. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the conversation that Fushiguro had with. Uh, Nobara, he has with Nobara about, um, uh, are we gonna, like, 
say anything basically about the way that these uh, curses are resonating mm-hmm. with UG. And, and they're like, no, we're not going to do that. And then Sukuna immediately is like, it's all your fault, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So wh- what direction do you see being taken for the trio? Because that's basically the, I mean, there's the whole, they're getting upgraded to, you know, grade, first grade. First yeah. grade. Yeah. And that's, uh-huh. that's, that's cool. But, but like the trio, like, yeah, I don't know. I, hmm. Because it's a classic shonen thing to have the trio, you know? Well, because I feel like, like it, it's something where hmm. they, even though they're kicking ass, they still are not movers and shakers within the world itself. They are. They very much, like, mm-hmm. get sent on their missions and things like that. They're not going to be doing any kind of, like, special individual stuff like Gojo might be or, you know, or whatever. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. As far as, like, like thematic things for the three of them, uh, you know, there's the general vibe of, like, separation that will probably happen because Yuji will, like, Yuji is Get being set up to isolated. die. Well, yeah, that too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think the issue is that because they're choosing to have secrets from each other mm. that they believe the others don't know about, um, this is setting up a bit of a, uh, bit of a sundering relationship-wise. Okay. In that it's going to slowly fragment them as a trio. Gotcha. And so maybe then this is the uh, sort of the last hurrah of when everything was like super simple, you mm-hmm. know, like simple, yeah. you know, with yeah. with this mission and everything, and them just going out and having each other's backs and yeah. you know, getting upgraded. Fighting First bad grades guys. will mean that their missions are more tough. Mm-hmm. But then also with Sukuna now having two fingers, he's going to be a much bigger problem. And right. then um, what's getting planned for October, basically. And then the combination of them having things that the other knows about, Mm -hmm. but they want to hide things from them, I feel like could create some some, uh, Mm -hmm. some problems down the line. Because a a desynchronized trio of a shonen... um, uh, of a shonen story like this leads to... uh, (laughs) Yeah. Leads to problems. (laughs) Indeed. Yeah, yeah. And we don't have a literal naruto kind of set up here but but uh, yeah but yeah. yuji in some ways is kind of the one that could end up causing that actually sure because yeah. of Tsukuna. yeah yeah i mean but yeah right yeah yeah but okay um a- anything more nah you bring up like really excited for like having this show get another season oh yeah like if this is if this is how much i enjoyed something that effectively was the blue milk run like you know in between massive like plot like big plot importance like arcs sure. then yeah how, how much <laughs> how much awesome is going to be packed into whatever's next right um do you want to react to the movie when it comes out yeah 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 okay cool 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 yeah. um so guys um we're gonna have to wait for that and mm-hmm. uh, stuff but um for the show that we're doing after this the poll is still ongoing mm-hmm. um so we'll be leaving a pinned comment in this reaction with the winner so go and check out that pinned comment basically and that'll let you know what show is going to be replacing jujitsu kaisen so y'all Thank you so much for watching the reactions and discussions for this show. If you want to see the first episode's reaction of the new show that replaces it right now, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.